Hey, how are you? Dave here. Thank you very, very much for joining me. It's a pleasure to be back here. Special treat for you today. No electric guitar, okay? Got the old acoustic guitar. I got my uh, my $500 uh, Ibanez sort of half body thing, uh, electric acoustic that I bought back in 19... <laughs> something or other. And, um, you know, it's a pretty beaten up guitar, I must say. If you, I'll show you quickly. Like, look at the socket here. Held with, yep, you guessed it, gaffer. And by the way, I'm living in Niagara Falls now, right? And uh, and I went to the bloody local music store here, Murphy's, and they don't sell gaffer tape. What music store doesn't sell gaffer tape? You know, it says musician suppliers. Well, gaffer tape holds rock bands together. If you took gaffer tape away, things would just fall apart at the seams. And I think everyone understands that. Anyone, At least if you've ever toured, you'll understand that. So, you know, here's my old acoustic guitar anyway. Uh, you know, it's got chunks out of it there. You can see there where my, you know, where my pick coming off has actually eaten a hole into the guitar because um, I'm too rough. It's got dust. Yeah, dust. Everyone loves dust on their guitar. It's got bits missing, you know, like in the back. You can see there's... There's a, where is it, look at that, it's missing a piece out of there, and, and, um, and I guess, uh, I guess what else, oh the strings, look at the strings hanging off, come up close and see if you can see, they're old, look at the goop on that, look at that, yep, now all that goop hanging off the low E string there, if you can see that, that's, uh, that's plastic, because these elixir strings that I really like, um, oh, look at the other end, that's grimy, that is grimy down here, where are we? Oh yeah, that's filth. <laughs> the elixir strings, uh, they're coated in plastic and as they get older the plastic comes off and uh, it just looks like uh, hair hanging off your strings. Um, but it certainly prolongs the life of your strings and I do appreciate that. And oh look at that, that's the uh, battery compartment. See all the white stuff around there? That's the, uh, that's the adhesive that's on the gaffer because, um, because for a while there uh, I broke the clip on there and the battery, you push it in and it just pops straight out. So. I ended up uh, I ended up putting gaffer tape on that one as well, and then I worked out if I jammed a bit of cardboard down the side, it would hold it in. Unfortunately, I didn't realise that it was a pain in the ass to get it out after you'd done that. Anyway, <coughs> enough idle banter. So I have the acoustic guitar. Why do I have the acoustic guitar? I can hear I can hear at least two people asking that question. So, and because you may be the only two that are watching this, uh, I better answer the question. Every now and then. I find it's very advantageous to put down your electric and pick up your acoustic. Because electric guitar is so easy to play by comparison. Like it has light gauge strings, it has a low action, you're plugging into a, let's say, a, an overdriven source if, you, if you're using distortion or anything like that, if you've got effects pedals and, and processors and whatnot. And really, you can get away with so much stuff on electric guitar that you simply cannot get away with on an acoustic. And on the acoustic guitar, you, f you have to be stronger, like across the board, you have to be stronger. You have to be more defined with everything you do, right? And uh, it's hard at work because the strings are further away from the fretboard. They have a higher action. Um, the strings are normally much thicker. Certainly they are in this case. And uh, yeah, and uh, you just, you can't, you know, do blazing solos on the acoustic guitar nearly as easily as you can do it on the electric guitar, unless of course you happen to be Tommy Emmanuel or someone like that, and then, a, you know, then if you're Tommy Emmanuel, who cares what you're playing, right, because it's always going to be good. So, what we're going to do today, or what I'm going to show you through, is some arpeggio stuff. Now, it's not your normal sort of arpeggio stuff, and, uh, and I'm not really sure what this is, I, I guess it's just whatever it is, and, uh, and I want to show you through it. Now, I'm going to break it into two separate halves just for ease of listening. It is of a similar nature in its construction, in its, uh, in its, uh, um, its uh, style, to the bet you can't play this thing that, that I did a while ago, for anyone who's heard that. You know, that thing. And it's in the same key and everything. Um, uh, although it's uh, it's different, but it's the same. That's music for you. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is play four arpeggios in the first section. The arpeggios are A minor seven, F major seven, C major seven, add nine, and G nine. Okay, just give me a C 
sec, I push my mouse and my screensaver will come on and yes, everything brightens up. You know, I can't afford a light, so I, my screen, I put Google on it and I expand it out to the full size of the screen. And, um, and, then, uh, and then that throws so much light over here and that's every now and then it goes into my screensaver. And, you know, a sane guy would just go and disable the screensaver, but no, not me. I'm just going to make it an annoyance. And, uh, and anyway, and a talking point in this video. So, there are our first four. A minor 7, C major 7, uh, sorry, F major 7, C major 7, add 9, and G9. So you can hear the notes, right? Four notes in each one. Okay, and we're going to do a rhythm that goes like this. So it's dum 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 First inversion, E augmented, okay? And we'll go into um, F, uh, it's like an F major 7 thing because, you know, F major 7 is our chord, now I'm playing this. Think of it as series of three notes. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay? Whereas our first part... is based on... is based on, uh, on four note... arpeggios. But played with a... Um, uh, with a one, two, three, one... One, two, one, two, three, 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 kind of feel. It's got that feel. So this one. And we'll do a G. Seven arpeggio thing. is intentional of course uh, because I'm absolutely perfect and never make mistakes <laughs> right actually some of the best things I ever play are mistakes so when you hear something really cool probably didn't mean to do it okay so I'm going to repeat that twice you know the F the G7 the F major 7 I'll repeat twice and then I'm going to go back to the G9 and I'm going to go back to the E augmented arpeggio and then start the whole thing again Like this. 
Now, like I say, I'm always perfect and never make any mistakes, and this is exactly what I meant to do. Right, so I'll try it again. Yeah, you get the, uh, the feel of it. Anyway, I like it. It's a funky little tune. I don't know what to call it. Doesn't really matter. Call it whatever the heck you want. But remember, it's good to crank out the acoustic guitar and throw away the pick and get back to um, the business of playing with your with your fingers from time to time and to really explore chord sounds you know one of the things I really like are chord sounds I mean I'm, I'm not sort of Alan Holdsworth bent where I just have to do everything weird, right? I'm, I'm still pretty standard in a lot of ways, and that's, that's fine by me. I'm a missionary guitar type of guy. <laughs> but, um, but I still like, like to hear the sounds, you know. And, uh, and you don't do that as much on the acoustic, on the electric, I find, as you do on the acoustic. So the acoustic actually, um, actually, um, lends itself far more to you know to that whole to that whole that whole chord thing the stuff you you just wouldn't do on the electric guitar because it just would sound pretty lame right but on the acoustic it's just seems to fit. So anyway, grab your acoustic, have a play with it. Hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, uh, leave me a comment. I love a comment or two. I don't care if they're good or bad. It doesn't really matter. It's just nice to know that someone's actually paying attention and has a thought. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care, keep on smiling, and most importantly, keep on playing. Take care.